Because I still get them calls. What's up with this nigga? Mm-hmm. I get calls from them, and they want to rob everybody. Man, my, I remember one day, I never told this goddamn story. I'm in the club, and we in the club, and, and I got a piece of the club that we in, and Fabulous come. Now, I'm a fan. Now, I'm in a, and I'm going to tell you some shit. I've been a fan of damn near every nigga I had a run in with. So being a fan of a motherfucker is scary for me. <laughs> <laughs> The Fabulous was in the club, and I had to literally tell like 10 different people, no, no, leave that man, no. I'm like, listen, okay, his bodyguard is my cousin. Like, I have to say this now, like, yeah. hey man, that's my cousin doing security. Now, his bodyguard was one of Paul Rosenberg bodyguards, big motherfucking name, big motherfucking life, I forgot his name, Stop yeah. the C, but big motherfucking boy. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, Craig was a nigga mm-hmm. named Craig. And I'm Craig, I know Craig, and I'm like, you know, I know I can't let nothing happen to Fabulous, but I'm a point being, what if I wasn't there? What if I wasn't there? They done got all the niggas, cause they don't give a fuck about no bodyguard. Yeah. You, you the first one to get it. <laughs> you the first one to get a bottle across the head, a pistol in the back of your fucking neck. <laughs> in the I be a year then. But it, but I have been that mediator in between so many situations where even when people was like throwing stones at a nigga like, man, this nigga, he a bully and this, that, and the other. And I'm like, I don't get no credit for not saying, get him. <laughs> 